What you working on? Um, I'm handling a story about how Columbia hospitals are updating their visitors' policies. I don't know, I'm on the, I'm technically on call right now, so I just keep open the budget and the, we'll see now I just have a reporter saying I want to look at a story from it really quickly, so just stuff like this happens. Really, under, what we end up having to worry about is things breaking late at night, like new new cases in Missouri or anything like that. And if that's the case, we either either our editors write up something locally or we pull wire. They're slowly creeping in to the state. Uh, Boone's about as far away as you can get from the current cases, but uh, I'm sure it will get here. Right now on our map, it says total positive 10 asterisk. The asterisk indicates as of March 17th. Up until two weeks ago, Columbia was just... Ghost town. No, yeah. Now everyone is younger than us and... They don't care about us because we're old and boring. The media isn't talking about how you can be old and boring. Actually, I've never met an interesting old person. That's not true. That is not true. People are going to us for the most reliable information. They trust us. And you're going to be a part of that this semester. And when you look at the grading rubric, you'll see how the things that we grade you on really contribute to maintaining that relationship with the community that we serve and improving it every single day. Any questions about anything I just said? Now, Galen will come down here and talk about Kaylin, what are you going to talk about? Oh, a variety of things. Okay. I won't worry about it. Everyone hear me? Are we good? Yeah. All right, cool. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Galen, the carrier. Um, I'm a senior. I am one of the four aces for this semester. We're sort of here as the buffer between you all and the city editors and the faculty. You're going to be challenged. This is, you know, a lot to ask. It's stepping into a professional newsroom. I totally get that. Um, any questions now that there are no faculty, city editors, everything here is just for me. I don't bring it outside. And that's a rule going forward. Yeah? How did editors tend to react when you made the mistake? It, so <laughs> the end all be all is, you know, it depends. But at some point throughout this semester, you are going to drop the ball. It's just, it's going to happen. That's how this works. Um, the important thing is learning which balls are rubber and which balls are glass. It's intimidating, it's stressful, I totally get that. Anything else? All right, I'll let you guys go then. Uh, like I said, uh, I'll hang around for a couple minutes as well if you have any questions. Thanks guys, good luck, stay safe, all that. Yeah, thanks. I was looking through everything I've got and half of it is just you on Twitter. Huh. Uh, give me a rundown of all the important things that happened on day one at the zoo. Okay. A College of Business professor got in trouble because he told a Chinese student from Wuhan over Zoom, let me put my mask on. There was a fire at the Todd Student Living Apartments uh, at like 11 p.m. Uh, the university released their, their dashboard I use dashboard lightly. There are 159 active ones as of, I guess, I guess as of yesterday. Like it just doesn't do us a whole lot of good. It's not really, I even wonder if it's really even relevant. I mean, like the virus is here. So, you know. And then uh, there was a bat in our newsroom flying around. So it was- just normal day one stuff. Yeah, I mean, it was just your typical first day of school. All to myself. We at least were able to look at these, but also it gives us a buffet of follow-up stories. Do you like reporting or anything more? No, oh, reporting. I mean, I don't want to do editing for a living. I mean, I like this job because I get to 
help reporters learn. Usually, the newsroom would be like full, but not really, not so much anymore. Tomorrow evening, and we'll check with the other people. Hello. Hi, this is Rebecca. Is this Ga um, Galen? Yes, this is him. Hello, how are you? Yes, yes, I was there. Okay. So there was that resolution calling for an investigation. Mm hmm So is there was there any mention then of the, the subsequent encounter with Sebastian from KBIA? Were, were there any sort of details about how that was led up to given? Um. And uh, thank you all for joining us today, and uh, I'll be happy to stay on as long as needed. Um, looking at the resolution, they are saying now, therefore, be it resolved that the faculty council, by majority vote, calls for an independent investigation into how the MU police came to investigate Martinez. Yeah, absolutely. What I said was, I find it very interesting, I'm paraphrasing, that our own faculty and staff would make light of a situation such as vandalism. It is what it is. Um, you're the, there's a, a bigger issue here that your answer uh, is avoiding. I think to contextualize this a little bit, cops showed up at someone's house because of tweets. Now you bring up, Professor Mislan, is the university going through tweets of all of the members? The answer is no. So my message was for them for the senior leaders. So you're working on internship applications and... I applied to the Chicago Tribune today. I applied to the Baltimore Sun and the Oregonian this week. Um, and the Washington Post last week. These are all positions in which there are like one or two on offer and they get thousands of applications. My parents would not want me to even like, they don't like me even talking about that. Like, um, talking about what? Talking about like not getting a job in journalism. Because um, they're so confident. And they'll never really, I mean, until you apply and get rejected from all these things, you don't understand. Like, and it's honestly, I mean, you know, I respect what they think and their opinions, but even like professors on this, when oh, you'll, you'll land somewhere, but a lot of people don't land anywhere. You know, like this is the way it is. Um, which is okay, it comes with the good and bad. Feels like a lot of bad sometimes. There are some weeks where it just feels like a lot of bad, but the good is easier to forget. Sports. This debate is sponsored by the Commission on Presidential Debates. The commission has designed a format six monthly 15-minute segments. A lot of people have been waiting for this night, so let's get going. Millions of people would have died, not 200,000, and one person is too much. It's China's fault. It should have never we happened. Have to I mean, I have a mask right here. I put a mask on. No way. Tonight, as oh, I said, everybody's had a test, and you've had social distancing and all of the things that you have to, but... Like, okay, so. mask sizes. Look, he's not worried about you. He's not worried about the people out there breathing in water. Yeah, nobody cares. Gentlemen, can we move on nobody to the... Cares. Gentlemen, oh, what is doing? Oh. Mr. Do you have any new... So what is happening? Shut up! Oh, look at this! Shut up! And will you pledge tonight that you will not declare... God, victory this is so fucking until bleak. ...until the election has been independently oh my God. certified? President Trump, I am urging first. my supporters to go into the polls and watch very carefully because that's what has to happen. I am urging them to do it. Ah, yes, that old chestnut of American debate summations, the will you launch a coup question. Not to declare victory until the election is independently certified. Yes, and here's the deal. They count the ballots, as you pointed out. Some of these ballots in some states can't even be open until election day. And President Trump, Vice so President Biden, it's been an interesting hour and a half. I want to thank you both for participating. In the first of three debates that you've agreed to engage in, we thank you and good night. Yeah. 
How do you feel as someone who wants to go into journalism watching a debate like that? I mean, that was god-awful. I hope that there are no more debates. I don't think they accomplish anything. I got it. All they do is remind us all how absolute... How absolute... Yeah, no, not good. Not, not good, folks. Has everyone brought their personal notary with them? Sign their ballot? Vote here. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. <laughs> Here we go, I guess. Well, now you wait. Now we wait. I'll see you later. Probably won't ever do this again, so. Well, I mean, hopefully I'll have a job. <laughs> you guys here for the long haul? I think so. It's not the most stimulating environment. I know. Hunter's time. probably having a blast. Oh, I bet. I mean, I'm his subject. You know, I don't know. I don't know how he couldn't be. This is reporting unit 26010. All right, so for Joe Biden, how many votes does he have? 19888. Yep. And Donald Trump, GOP? 7391. Okay, and for Governor, how many votes do you have for Nicole Galloway, Democrat? 26010. Zero, zero. Mike Parson, GOP? 40558. Jerome Bauer? 93. Joe Four, four, seven. Fifty six out of eighty one. Two, six, three, seven, five, three, five, three. eight, five, five. This six. should be the second to last uh, batch of results. Five, 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 four, four. Eighty out of eighty two for president. Two, nine, three, one, eight, four, eight, four, six, one, eight, one, two, five, three, four, five, one, eight, six, five, one, one, zero. Christian, it's Galen. I want to let you know I received the uh, Thomas Jefferson statues report through a public records request. Uh, I was hoping to get in touch with you uh, for any further comment from the university. Thanks. Um, so how are you feeling about things? Yeah, I don't know. You want to be more specific? Um, the state of the world seems a little bit too... Oh, hitting, sure, sure. You know, do you ever think about that? Like, 
arguably there's never been a worse time to be a journalist. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I also think, I guess, I guess there's never been a worse. I guess that's true, technically. If I'm there reporting on the Capitol riot, I'm in a lot less danger than people who don't look like me. And so it's definitely, I think my perspective definitely comes from a place of privilege. I don't know. I mean, I want to do it because I'm, I'm good at it and I think it's important and serves a purpose. And if I'm, you know, I don't, I don't know if I can do it better than anyone else, but I mean, I can try. I don't know. I just feel like at the end of the day, I would rather know what's going on than not. So, like, even if it's like the world is on fire, I would rather know that than like, oh, great. Like, well, I have good news then. Well, it is on fire. Nice. <laughs> I don't want to okay, Sarah, I want to hear. Yeah. One what I would change. change most. If you were putting the world, what would you change? First day. As cliche as it would be, I'd like to change like the way people see work and life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh my God. Which is such, I mean, obviously everyone wants that. That's very, not a novel or a new thought. I think that's the big thing that has changed for me. I came in here pursuing like a, like a passion for a career and I'm leaving here seeking a job that I can also derive like some sense yeah. of like service from. Yeah. How, e how easy it is to get from I love this so much to mm -hmm. wow, I don't know if I want to do God this it. anymore. Like Can I don't want to do this. Love you. Say back. Love you. <laughs> Sorry, like yeah. this documentary doesn't need to probe like my <laughs> Yeah, like, you're, like my brick wall of like yeah. emotions. <laughs> yeah, like for not being unable to grapple with like, But I like emotions. that I like have like we all chip away at day by day. And it, tiny, yeah, but, tiny like, little hammers. Still, like, eight more layers. And I'm like I'm here for the long haul. <laughs> <laughs> all fucking I'm here with a sledgehammer mother. Thanks so much for uh, taking some time for us out here in the Show Me State. Uh, I don't want to just jump right into it. Do you expect what we're experiencing here in Missouri to soon happen elsewhere in the U.S.? Well, it will not happen in those areas that have a high level of vaccination. What's going on in Missouri, unfortunately, is entirely predictable.